It was all about overcoming adversity for the All Blacks in Hamilton on Saturday night. There's been some infamous times in the past when, if put under enough pressure, the national side didn't have the tools to cope. But the garage shed is certainly now full of every gadget needed for a DIY job, big or small, and the All Blacks showed that so beautifully in their 57-22 thrashing of Argentina at FMG Stadium Waikato. If there were doubts about the $9 Pumas being a real threat to New Zealand, they were quickly put aside after the plucky visitors rocked the 23,361 home crowd with a try after two minutes. The last time the All Blacks conceded the first try in a match was 12 matches ago, in fact against the Pumas, in the opening game of last year's World Cup. That day they overcame two yellow cards to senior players and saw the bench make a fine impact, to get the job done. This time, on a gorgeous night in Hamilton, it was a case of remaining calm, being patient, and adaptive. There was early niggle similar to what the Wallabies brought, and the All Blacks quickly put an end to that by standing up to it. There was some loose interpretations from referee Craig Gerbert around the breakdown, but the home side eventually found what they could and couldn't get away with. There was the loss of Sam Kane early in the second half to a leg injury, with the score just 24-19, yet the All Blacks machine was far from disturbed, in fact the complete opposite as it turned out. Coach Steve Hansen even made the bold early substitutions of Aaron Smith and Dane Coles, putting the onus on the wider group. The All Blacks had midweek labeled Argentina's style as organized chaos.